Welcome to making dumplings with my mom. Prepare the meat mixture before you actually chop off your veggies so that it has time to rest in the fridge. Add or subtract whatever ingredients you feel comfortable with. My family personally loves chopped leek, which is why we add so much to our dumplings. You do not have to add that much. When you add the leek or the vegetables to your meat mixture, be sure to get all of it. Also, when you mix it together, I recommend using chopsticks or a fork because it gets rid of the meat pockets that sometimes, you know, is created by spoons. If you feel the mixture getting a bit dry, add sesame oil to it. It adds to the flavor. When you're making pot stickers, be sure to make sure the peel is thin and long. When you add the meat mixture, you're going to fill a third of it, make it as flat as possible, so when you pinch it together, nothing squishes out. If it does, remove it, because if it breaks in the pan, all the juices will be lost. Let's face it, we love that bite of juice as soon as you bite into a dumpling. My family likes to dip it in vinegar and water. When you put it on the pan, you should hear the sizzle. That's how you know the pan is hot enough. When you remove it from the pan, my family likes to flip it onto the plate for maximum visual effect. As long as the inside is cooked, you're good. Boiling the dumplings requires a pot of water. And when we steam it, we use the cheesecloth on the bottom to keep the dumpling from sticking. We use the leftover dough for scallion pancakes, which is normal. My mom is of a Southern China, Northern Taiwan food influence, which is why we make it this way. Hope you enjoyed.